Hello, welcome to my channel Psychometric Solutions. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to check the skewness and kurtosis in a data set by using the SPSS software. Before this, let me explain what is skewness and kurtosis. Skewness is the murder of a symmetry, or more precisely, the lake of symmetry. The lake of symmetry is because there is a degree of distortion from the normal distribution that is symmetrical bell curve shape. While the kurtosis is a murder of whether the data are heavily tilled, light tilled, or relative to a normal distribution. The skewness is, is either positive or negative. As you can see here, the positively skewed uh, data is uh, uh, inclining towards the left side, while the negatively skewed data is inclining towards the right side, while a uh, normal uh, symmetrical distribution is in a bell shape. The kurtosis are either high or they are low, and it tells that either the tail is heavily or it is light. If it is heavy, it means that there are high kurtosis, and if the tail is light, it means that there is a low kurtosis. The skewness and kurtosis can be interpreted uh, as a general rule of thumb uh, between the plus and minus quantums. So if the skewness is between minus 0.5 or plus 0.5, it means that the data is fairly symmetrical. And if the skewness is between uh, minus 1 uh, and minus 0.5, uh, then it means that uh, the data is uh, moderately skewed. While if the skewness is less than uh, minus 1 or it is greater than plus 1, that it means that the data is highly skewed. The general rule of thumb is that if it is more than 2. Point, plus 2.5, plus or minus 2.5, or some of the researcher even recommends that if the data is uh, having uh, skewedness of uh, plus minus 3, then it means that the data has uh, skewedness and it's indicating the univariate outliers. The kurtosis uh, has the range of minus or plus 2, uh, which are uh, considered acceptable in order to prove normal univariate distribution. So now let's come to the SPSS. Here you can see uh, we have uh, three variables. The resilience, let me change this to V1. So we have three variables and one by one I will check uh, whether there is skewness and kurtosis in this data. Well, there are two ways to check the skewness and kurtosis. The one is you click on the descriptive statistics, go to analyze and then click on the descriptive statistics, click on the frequency and then enter the variable and click on the statistics and here you can see the skewness and kurtosis. Continue and click on the chart and click on the histogram. Continue. If you don't need the frequency distribution tables, then just don't click this or just simply remove it because it, if you don't need it, you just don't need to click on it. Click on the OK. So here we can see uh, the skewness and kurtosis are within the acceptable range and the histogram say that the data is uh, in a bell shape. 
so um, this means that this is a fairly normally distributed data. So uh, now let's come to uh, the negative and the positively skewed data. Let me remove this and I enter the one and the two and the three and I click on the OK. So here you can see the V2 is uh, positively skewed, moderately positively skewed. Same, it has moderate uh, positive kurtosis, while the V3 is uh, moderately negatively skewed. As I told you that if the uh, data is uh, positively skewed, then it would uh, incline towards the left. Uh, if it is negatively skewed, it would incline toward the right. So here, uh, this V2, as uh, we know, that it is uh, positively skewed. So it is uh, inclining towards the left. And this one is uh, negatively skewed, so it is inclining towards the right. And although this is a moderate skewedness, you don't need to find some remedy for removing this skewedness, as you might suspect that there might be some univariate outlier, but this data is still normal.